Imagine what it would be like if you could no longer remember your wedding day or the birth of your first child. What would it be like if you could no longer remember those who were once dear to you or that you couldn't find your way home? For those of us in the room who've had experience with dementia, we'll recognise these symptoms as the cruel reality that is dementia. Um, dementia is associated with loss of memory for the past, language disruption, spatial disorientation, and loss of motor function. These syndromes are progressive, they're relentless, and they're ultimately fatal. And there currently exists no cure. While we often think of dementia as being a disorder of old age, a sizable proportion of patients that we see in the clinic present with younger onset dementia. And as the name suggests, these syndromes strike individuals under the age of 65. These effects can be devastating as these individuals are often still working, they still have families to support, and they must also contend with the stigma of not looking like they have dementia. The ideal time to intervene in your degenerative syndromes is prior to the emergence of frank clinical and cognitive decline. And in this sense, neuroimaging metrics are becoming increasingly important in allowing us to detect the earliest changes that might occur on the neural level. But our current imaging metrics actually lack the specificity that we need to detect changes prior to the emergence of frank cognitive and behavioral decline. So with the support of the Brain Foundation, this project seeks to determine how the earliest changes in brain morphology may be predictive of individuals most at risk of developing dementia. We're proposing to use a novel new neuroimaging technique that looks at the folding of the cortical ribbon. And we propose that this metric will be much more sensitive to detecting earliest changes in individuals who carry a genetic risk for developing frontotemporal dementia. I'm incredibly grateful to the support of the Great Brain Foundation and I want to extend my sincere gratitude to the committee, the scientific committee and the funders. I really do believe that this project is an exciting new step in early detection of younger onset dementia and I believe that the information that we'll harness from this project will lead to swifter clinical detection and early intervention to hopefully improve the quality of life of individuals living with dementia. Thank you.